welcome to Music Home Learning 7. I cannot believe that we are on seven. But before we start today, I want to talk to you kind of on a serious note because this is our new normal with this rest of this year, right? So I want to know what you're doing to make this easier. I need you to not be doing work all day long. It's just not good for you. Take a break, go outside, maybe um, take a nap. I love naps, but you know what I love to do in the afternoons? I sit outside and I enjoy the sun and the fresh air and either just sit or I edit the videos for the next week or I create lessons, but I'm outside away from my computer on the phone sometimes, but it's being outside, it's a different environment. I love sitting on the swing, just swinging. So what do you do to make this easier? Check on your parents too. This is hard on them. Maybe give them a break. If you see they're stressed out, give them a hug and leave them alone, right? So just know that I love you and I'm worried about you and I miss you. And I just hope that I want you to enjoy the music lessons, but I also wanna make sure that you're doing things for you that make your heart happy. I love you. Stay tuned for the mystery of the Woodwind. Before we start today, let's go back and review the first two families. Family number one, the string family. How do you play them? There are three ways. If you said pluck, strum, and bow, you are correct. Good job. Now let's go on to the brass family. How is it grouped? How it's played? And how do you play brass instruments? You buzz air into the mouthpiece. Easy peasy. Now, let's move on to the mystery of the Woodwind family. The Woodwind family seems like a normal family. Just your everyday instruments, the flute, the pickle, the oboe, the clarinet, the bassoon, no big deal. But today, we're going to uncover the mystery of the Woodwind family. Sit back, brace yourself. So there is one fact that we know is that it's grouped by how you play them, just like the rest of the families. But are they like the rest of the families? <sighs> Let's uncover this one fact that we do know all of the woodwind families, you have to blow into these instruments. So that is one fact that you should remember. All woodwind instruments, you have to blow the air. Nothing special, just blow the air in the instrument. That seems easy enough, but we found out they're much more complicated than just that. You don't just blow air through them. That would be too easy. You blow through or over three different options. Are you ready? Single reed, double reed, and a lip plate. Are you ready? Single reed, double reed, and the lip plate. Whew, it's starting to get complicated. Let's do this. So, we're talking about the reeds first. The reeds are little thin pieces of wood, okay? It's kind of where they get their name, wood winds, got it? So, thin pieces of wood. The single reed has one reed on like a black piece of plastic, so it vibrates together, producing sound. A double reed is two skinny little pieces of wood that are tied together. The biggest thing is these pieces are thin. I wish you were at school and I could show you one because I have one in my cabinet. But for now, look at these amazing pictures to figure out which is a single and which is a double. If you see a black mouthpiece, you can guarantee that it's going to be a single reed. The double reed is very little. So if you see a little tiny thing coming out of the top of the instrument, you can look at it and know that it is a double reed. So the reeds are made out of wood, 
very thin wood that is tied together in the case of the double reed and attached to a black mouthpiece in the case of the single reed. So those two, you got them. Single reed and a double reed. Got it? Next up is the lip plate. Okay, so the lip plate is just a hole. That's all. But it's not really about it being a hole, it's about how you play it. So, you don't blow air into the hole, you blow air over the hole. Ever taken a bottle before, like a plastic bottle, and you just blown over it and it makes a kind of a cool sound? In my classroom, I have a set of glass bottles that are amazing that I use for this demonstration, but we're not in my classroom. So, um, I have a mouthwash container. It's not gonna make a good sound because it's not empty, but you blow over it. My air is going over the top, not in it. I'm not gonna do that because that would be a funny video if I blew in it right now because what happened? It go in my face. I don't wanna waste mouthwash. But um, the lip plate, you don't blow in, you blow over. So, Woodwind family, you blow air through a double or single reed or over a lip plate. I know this family, see why this family is a mystery? Okay, I found something. It's not gonna sound as good. A glass bottle, um, the vibrations are able to bounce off better and produce a better sound. But this will give you an idea. I have water bottles. One has um, less water, the other ones has different pitches. They're not pretty, but you'll get the idea. So when I blow over it, right? Then I blow over this one, This one only has this little tiny bit of room for the vibrations to bounce. So it's a little instrument, therefore producing a higher pitch, right? Not very pretty, but... And this one has more air, so it's a bigger instrument, and therefore it has a lower pitch. It's so hard to blow, but do you get it? Um, if you have glass bottles, I know mine were cream solder, they were glass bottles that were clear, you can um, blow through those and they sound so much better. Or even harder plastic bottles. I had a cranberry juice jug with a thicker plastic that um, produced a better sound, but the cranberry juice was still in it and I didn't wanna, I love you, but I wasn't gonna chug cranberry juice because that's not delicious. Okay, so hopefully you get it. The biggest thing is the lip plate. You don't blow into it, you blow over it. Got it? Good. So, the woodwind family. You blow air through the instrument by using a single reed or a double reed. Or you blow over the lip plate. Let's see if we can be detectives and figure out which instruments go into which of these categories. Okay, let's look at the woodwind instruments. We have the flute, the piccolo, the clarinet, the oboe, and the bassoon. Look at them carefully. Do you see a double reed? Do you see a single reed or maybe a lip plate? Look at them for a second. Now, let's clear the screen and put them in their correct categories. Which one did you see have a lip plate? If you said the flute and the piccolo, you are correct. The flute and the piccolo both have lip plates that you have to blow air over, okay? Next up, the single reed. Did any of them have a single reed? If you said the clarinet, you are right. So the clarinet is all by itself right now in the single reed group of the Woodwind family. Last but not least, we have the double reed. Did you see any instruments that had double reeds? 
If you said the oboe and the bassoon, you are correct. So let's go over them again. We have the flute and the piccolo. Both have lip plates that you have to blow over. The clarinet has a single reed, which you have to blow into. And last but not least, the oboe and the bassoon, you have a double reed. Okay, seems pretty easy, right? Now, let's go through each individual group and listen to the instruments. Here we go. sound so nice together. Okay, now, let's go ahead, now that we've got the detective stuff out of the way, I think for now, right? We pretty much have figured it all out. Let's go ahead, let's see each instrument, kind of get to the instruments a little bit better to really get them in our heads. Here we go. The flute and the piccolo are pretty much the same instrument except for what's different? Their size. So we know that the size is what tells you how high or low it is. So that kind of gives us an idea of which of the two is going to sound higher, the flute or the piccolo. Look at them. If you said piccolo, you are correct. The piccolo is much smaller than the flute. Therefore, it produces a much higher pitch. Now, let's go ahead and let's listen to a clip of the flute and the piccolo playing a song that I think you may know. I want to sing along to it, but I won't. Okay, so easy peasy, right? You heard how the piccolo had a much higher pitch than the flute, and you probably also noticed the lip plate that you have to blow over. Easy, let's move, keep it moving. Next up is our single reed instrument. Okay, the single reed instrument, only one of them today, right? Is the clarinet. The clarinet has a very warm and welcoming sound. Now the clarinet has different sizes. We'll not worry about today, worry about one size clarinet. But I wanna show you a video of four clarinets playing together a song that you may have heard. I don't know if it's super popular, but it's a song called Lean On. And it's a group called Four Play, get it? Cause there's four instruments playing. Um, it's an amazing clarinet piece. Are you ready? Here you go. The really big one is called a bass clarinet. Don't worry about that for today. I'm not putting it on the screen. But just so you know, it's a bass clarinet. It's super big, has a lower sound. Easy peasy. Let's go on to our two instruments that have double reeds. Here we go. So now for our double reed friends, we have the oboe and the bassoon. Looking at these two instruments, there is definitely a size difference. Which one is going to have the lowest pitch? If you said the bassoon, you are correct. And to tell you from last week's video, the bassoon, there's one called the double bassoon, which is twice as big, and it's actually the lowest pitched instrument in the entire orchestra. But today we're just talking about the regular bassoon. The double one's extra big. But we have the oboe and the bassoon. A bassoon is the lowest instrument in this group. Now, the oboe and bassoon, because of double reed, have a different kind of sound. They're not quite as warm as the clarinet. So let's go ahead over here. This trio 
play a very familiar song. Now this trio doesn't just have double reed instruments. It has an oboe, a bassoon, and our friend the clarinet. Here we go. You liked it? I loved it. Um, so if you want more clips of the oboe or the bassoon or the clarinet or the flute or the piccolo, you can go on YouTube and there are thousands of different examples of these instruments playing. So definitely take some time and kind of search and explore. Let's wrap this family up by watching some clips of them all playing together. There's a guy named Cohen on YouTube who takes and plays every instrument and puts them together with him playing it. So let's go ahead and see his amazing video playing all of the wind instruments at the same time. Here we go. Here's Cohen. Did you love it? If you loved it, go to my YouTube channel, look under the subscriptions for a guy named Cohen, and you can hear the whole entire Ghostbusters song now, there. While you're watching that video, there's someone we forgot. Like, I didn't think this was, I'm, I'm confused. Maybe we should go and be detectives again. Are you ready for one more instrument that we left out? Introducing the saxophone. Now, by first glance, what family do you think this sneaky saxophone should be in by looking at it? It's shiny. I would say the brass family, but we are smart detectives and we know the families are grouped by how they're played and the brass family, you have to buzz your lips against a mouthpiece. Is there a mouthpiece on this sneaky saxophone? No. What is that? <gasps> if you notice that that saxophone has a single reed, you are smarter than the average person. Absolutely. The saxophone is a woodwind because you don't buzz your lips against the mouthpiece. You blow through a single reed. Now the saxophone is not really found in the orchestra, but I think it's important that you guys know the saxophone is sneaky. He looks like he belongs in the brass family, unless you're super smart like you guys are and you notice that there is a single reed. Let's hear a couple songs with the saxophone. Here we go. my song, Sunflower. So if you've noticed that it has kind of a warm sound, not a buzzy sound like a trumpet would have, um, that's from the single reed. And then the vibrations move through the brass part, giving it kind of a buzzing sound. So if you were to hear it, you have to really listen carefully and you can kind of hear the air going through the instrument if you listen super carefully. Now, let's go to the next song, which has a clarinet and a saxophone. And I think you can kind of hear his breath through the saxophone a little better, but you can really tell that it's being blown through a reed and not buzzed on a mouthpiece. Here we go. So beautiful. 
So if you like that piece, let me make sure I get my notes right, that is Step of Sound. So if you go to my um, YouTube channel under subscriptions, you will see Step of Sound and he has a couple other songs on there, but that one's such a soothing, I could watch it forever. But anyway, hopefully you are all good on all this now. It's a lot of stuff though, right? Let's do a quick review before we go on. Here we go, a review, here we go. The Woodwind Family. You play it by blowing through a single or double reed or blowing over a lip plate, right? The instruments are flute, piccolo, clarinet, oboe, bassoon, and that sneaky saxophone which is in the orchestra, but it is in this family. So, you got it? If you don't have it, it's a lot of information and I don't want this video to be an hour long. So just kind of go back and listen to parts again to make sure you really understand it. That's kind of the good thing about teaching virtually is if something's confusing, you can watch it over and over and over again until you get it. Um, this family is a lot, so just do your best. You got it? Let's go on to our note cards. Here we go, let's add some more. Okay guys, you know the drill. This week we need eight note cards. One saying woodwind family, one saying blow air through a single or double reed or over the lip plate, piccolo, bassoon, saxophone, clarinet, oboe, and flute. Now, grab your cards from the last two weeks, the strings and the brass family, and mix them all up. Then you can play the game just like we talked about last week by dividing up your cards that go with the correct family. So do we like bark at other dogs or just like people walking by? And how long do you do this? Do you do this all day? Okay, second, third, fourth, and fifth grade. I had to get outside because I was just feeling whew, overwhelmed and I wasn't even the one that was learning it. I knew it. So if I'm feeling overwhelmed, I am sure that you're feeling overwhelmed too. Just take a break, take a breath. Um, when you get a second, go take that short quiz. It's only five questions. Super simple if you've listened. If you haven't listened, go back, listen to it again. Even just fast forward to certain parts you need to review. Um, but make sure that you understand that I just want you to try. Uh, and I know it's hard and it's a struggle and I miss you. So just know that. And remember that it's okay to not be okay. It's okay that this is hard and it's different and we miss each other. But just know that it's what you make it. Try to find the good in this. Try to find the fun in it. Um, and just know that, like I said, I love you so much and I miss you more than you could even imagine. This is very hard for Miss Browning too. So try your best on that assessment. Um, next week will be really easy because it has to do with percussion and percussion we're like rock stars at. So it's kind of an easy week. I know this was hard because like I said, I'm tired. I'm drained from doing the lesson. So breathe and know that I love you and I miss you and you've got this. Remember, your day is what you make it. Wait, before you go, let me show a few places that Mini Miss Browning went last week. There's still time. I'll be doing Mini Miss Browning segments for the, for the rest of the school year. So, go to your team's page, find the little Mini Miss Browning, and take an adventure. May you have auspiciousness and causes of success. May you have the confidence to always do your best. May you take no effort in your being generous. Sharing what you can, nothing more, nothing less. May you know the meaning of the word happiness. May you always lead from the beating in your chest. May you be treated like an esteemed guest. May you get to rest, may you catch your breath. May the best of your todays be the worst of your tomorrows. 